what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video it's saturday which means we got brand new legends in the game in today's video we're going to show you those cards and we actually got some pretty good ones maybe worth redeeming your free legend tokens on but we're going to start talking about the madden madvent giveaway and this is something i think is pretty cool ea put out a video yesterday and a website that you guys can check we'll link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment basically Basically every day that you log in to Madden Ultimate Team for the month of December all the way up until December 24th you're gonna receive a free item now yesterday's item was a pack I think you still might have time to log in today if you haven't yesterday to earn that pack but you may have missed out on it at this point I'm not hundred percent sure and the pack actually wasn't too bad for a lot of people a lot of people tweeted me with some really good pulls out of their high 80s low 90s I got an 84 overall Zadarius Smith out of mine which you know face value doesn't sound like an amazing card but team diamonds came out yesterday and a lot of cards specifically core elites ultimate kickoff cards headliners cards just to name a few have skyrocketed in price and that card actually went for quite a bit so i sold that one right away uh one other kind of side note with the level i'm sorry the price cap on todd Gurley and jjy it was capped at two million coins you couldn't sell it for anything more they removed that i believe i saw that it goes all the way up to 10 million now so if one of you happened to complete one of those sets and you were trying to sell the card for profit you should be able to go in and sell it now for more than two million coins so as you can see on the website uh day number two doesn't appear to be unlocked at all and there's nothing in game all I would say is gradually check throughout the day, log in to see if a new pack pops up. Yesterday's didn't come out until about like 5 o'clock. I thought maybe today's would come out along with the update. The content that comes out on Saturdays is usually 10.30 a.m. We may have to wait till 1.30 p.m. It might even be at some random time. I would keep checking that website to see if that number two reveals or keep logging into the game throughout the day. And we will have more videos. So if the present pops up, I'm sure I'll mention it in more videos or one of the later videos coming out today let's talk about the legends we got two really good ones still at 92 overalls but i think next week we're gonna see on thursday zero chill kickoff which is like a month-long promo usually one of the best of the year i think that's when we see 93 overall cards come out so this could be the last week of 92 overall legends now if you haven't redeemed your legend tokens yet you can go out and get one of today's new non-ltd so otto graham and sean taylor two really really good cards if you play through your solos each and every week week one is an exception it has a bunch of different solos because we got more than the standard two set cards there but every other week if you go through and play the solos there's going to be six in total once you beat those first six solos it unlocks a seventh solo a final challenge once you beat all of these you actually earn a free card in this case i think if we scroll down to this week and you beat all of the Otto Graham solos and all of the sean taylor solos i'm pretty sure it's a free 83 overall but it is non b and d so you can make a little bit of coin off of it nothing overly exciting but once you unlock that final challenge and beat that one you're going to earn seven milestone stars and if we go back up to the milestone rewards the main reason you're playing through these is to get these legend tokens so once you collect 16 of them you can redeem them for any legend long as it was not an ltd of your choice and it's also non bnd so last week we had deshaun jackson really expensive card out the gate it's definitely dropped in price since then but on my no money spend account i was able to sell him for like 680 or 90 000 coins and we made a really good profit so if you've yet to redeem your tokens we're going to price check sean taylor and Otto Graham, but both cards look really good it might be a great opportunity to either add one of those to your squad if you need the help or make a lot of coin in the long run there that's going to help you out to build your entire team and continue to play through those because if you haven't noticed here there's still an additional 16 more tokens that you can earn we're several weeks away from people getting to tier 32 but eventually be able to get a second free legend by doing these solos once you have enough of those tokens you head on over to item sets use your legend filter under program and this is where you would redeem them i totally forgot until like late last night that i still have not used my tokens on my main account here so if i wanted to i could go out and get sean taylor or otto graham only reason i'm not gonna do it more than likely is because sean taylor has terrible man coverage really good user card but the way my team is set up right now i'm kind of good at free safety i've recently picked up brian dawkins and we have brian branch from the blitz promo so i don't know if i need this card 
card, but it still is a really, really good one here. Now, to complete the set for either of today's legends that are non-LTD, you go into them. You can see the requirements here. You need 189 specific, so in this case, you need Sean Taylor's 89, and then any other two 89s. As you can see, you can use older cards. So you need a combination of 686s and then 192. You put all of those into a set. Sorry, 686s and 683s. Uh, you put all of those into a set, you're going to get 192 in return. And in this case, it would be the Sean Taylor. Nothing else comes back to you as B&D. So you have these cards here that go into the Sean Taylor set. And it's going to be the same for Otto Graham, minus the one specific 89 overall for him. And originally with Otto, I didn't think this card was going to be that good. But he actually has some pretty solid abilities. So let's go ahead and show those to you in the catalog. Unfortunately, he cannot get set feet lead and hot route master together. But if you ever want to check abilities on a legend or on any card that you don't own, you can go into the catalog and view it here. So he gets Gunslinger discounted at 1 AP. I think he's the first quarterback to get it discounted in the game. That's in that last ability bucket. And then you basically have your choice between Fearless for 4 AP, which I don't think is very good this year, Hot Route Master for 3 AP, or Set Feet Lead for 4 AP. And if you go back one more ability bucket, he still gets Gunslinger. So hypothetically, you could go Gunslinger, actually scratch that, take that back. You don't want to use this bucket because this one's not discounted there as well um but you can go gunslinger for one ap and then hot route master for an additional three that's four of the seven you got on offense gives you a little bit more flexibility if you find your offense doesn't really need hot route master which some of you may use this ability for no reason at all if you don't find that you're using those hot routes don't use this ability uh then you got set feet lead plus gunslinger for five ap still leaves you with the opportunity to maybe go with a slot apprentice which is something i might look into doing if I pick up this card so you still get some additional hot routes at least on one player one wide receiver on your team um, so really really good looking card Sean Taylor I don't expect him to get great abilities but if you take a look at his attributes I mean he's an ideal user six foot two 93 speed 95 hit power 94 zone 89 tackles pretty decent there um, 60 man coverage so for me somebody who runs a ton of man coverage even with my safeties this card is only going to be good as a user he does get discounted pick artists for one AP, so that's pretty huge there. As a user, I don't know how much more it helps. I think it's a lot more beneficial for like safeties and corners that play a lot of coverage, uh, but he does have that discount there. Acrobat for 2 AP, deep out zone KO. I don't think he has, does he have 93 command co or zone coverage? Yes, he does. So he can get deep out zone KO. That's actually pretty huge there as well for a safety that plays up top there. It, again, as long as you're not going to put him in man coverage. So I take that back. He does get some pretty good abilities. Let's go ahead and quick price check these cards and see what they're going for we'll start with sean taylor basically less than deshaun jackson last week and it's only 10 47 a.m so this card has been out for 17 minutes and he's already cheaper than deshaun it's not the end of the world here but it feels like last week and this card could go up over the next couple hours there's a lot of them out there but it feels like if you were maximizing or looking to maximize the coins on the 92 specifically selling to Sean Jackson last week probably was going to be a better move. Again, you can save those tokens if you do not redeem them, or you should not redeem them, I should say, if you want to wait for a 93 overall legend. That's likely what I'm going to be doing now that I'm seeing the prices on these cards. So if you don't want Sean Taylor, or you don't want Otto Graham, uh, I, you know, I, I would save my collectibles at this point. Otto, you can see here, is at 550k already. So I might pick up Otto just to try him out. Dan Marino's my quarterback number one right now, and I'm really enjoying that card but this one looks decent we might give them a try later tonight on twitch we'll close out with the pack offers here for legends you have a 86 plus pack so for 25 dollars you're going to get seven 86 plus cards this is actually going to be helpful if you're trying to build the autogram or the sean taylor if you open this one up you're guaranteed a bunch of pieces because remember you need 686s the last time they did something like this it caused the lower overall cards to skyrocket in price so i would not be surprised if you see 83 overall legends go up a little bit today check your binder on that you might be able to make some some good coin off of those the only reason i would open this is if you were going after one of today's two new legends from the item sets by the way there is an ltd jerry rice in the game right now my bad i totally forgot to mention that when we were in the catalog but uh, he's going to be fairly expensive 93 speed receiver he's got good height he's got good abilities good route running good catching all of that probably the best wide receiver in the game now um there is a legend 
Legends Legacy Bundle here. So for $100, you're going to get eight Legend Packs and then your choice of one of two 92 overall Legend Champions. Note that it does not say the LTD is in here, so just be aware of that when you open this up. To me, because the LTD is not in that topper, this is not good value. $100 is a lot of money. We got Zero Chill upcoming, new cover athletes on Sunday, Mix Up Monday, promo on Monday. We got a lot of content on the way, and we're probably going up to 93s. Do not spend $100 on this bundle. I just simply don't think it's worth it. One other thing before we get out of here, if you happen to save your Legend Packs from the Competitive Pass, remember the Level 27 reward, unfortunately, and this is a big reason why I'm doing a Pack Strike right now, a personal Pack Strike, I call it, but remember, the Level 27 Comp Pass reward now gives you two legend packs instead of a full legend of your choice which this would have been well that's your choice it wasn't a fantasy but this would have been a great opportunity to go out there and try to get sean taylor otto graham or jerry rice if those packs were available and of course ea took them away from us so first pack actually not too bad because we got two 87s in there let's go ahead and open up the second pack and see if we have any additional luck maybe we pull a jerry rice out of this one i won't complain about the reward if that were to happen so 84 84 82 i guess at least I didn't get the minimum. Thanks, EA. Thanks so much. That's it. We're going to be back with another video going over all of the best cards to be picking up right now based on the market and if any of these dropped in price. So be on the lookout for that one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.